Hey kids, Mrs. D. Uh, once again, trying to keep these shorter and sweeter in the likelihood that more of you listen to them. Um, I made, even just this morning, despite the change of costume, um, I made the video talking about the live action Spider-Verse. Mm. Um, and as I was talking through it and as I was posting it, it came to my uh, awareness that I forgot to mention another interesting bit of casting. Uh, they casted someone in Doctor Strange for the Multiverse of Madness film itself, who is suspiciously looking like America Chavez. Um, so my husband calls these the woke Marvel, you know, uh, bits, but I'm here. Um, I'm excited for it, especially because, as I mentioned in a couple other videos, I'm, I'm unimpressed with how they've done Captain Marvel. There's plenty of opportunity for fun female empowerment in Marvel if they're feeling like they really need to go out of their way to include it. I don't think you have to go out of your way because the thing is, they now own X-Men and Fantastic Four. It'll happen. You can't trip over an X-Men plot line without hitting a lot of different inclusivities. You have um, gay rights, LGBTQ, um, you have racial rights, you have fem feminism, it's all there. Yeah, X-Men was doing all of this long before anyone realized that comics were doing high-level commentary. Um, so I don't, I don't actually think you have to reach anywhere for these types of plot lines. You know, they'll fall in your lap. You have Rogue. You know, you have Psylocke, you have Jubilee, you have Kitty Pride, you have Iceman. Iceman, they should really go first, you know, first gay superhero. Just saying. They've, they've wanted to include various things for a while. And I realized that the internet had mild implosion because um, the uh, John Boyega from Star Wars and Sebastian Stan from Marvel both gave not so subtle um, little fan talkbacks where they said like they felt that the obviously gay plot lines of their characters were being muted. I have commentary. One, the new Star Wars movie should not be included in the Star Wars universe. They're terrible. Two, there's nothing canonically to suggest um, Winter Soldier is gay. I know that they've had wonderful chemistry, um, Chris Evans and Sebastian Stan, but I don't really think that we need, just because they're bros, just because they're best friends, just because they are two men who love each other, they don't have to necessarily be in a romantic relationship. Um, I mean, it's fun, but I don't, I don't know that we have to die on that hill. Uh, there's other characters that it fits a lot more sort of cleanly. Um, Bucky's very isolated, very asexual. They don't have a whole lot with him. Um, for, me, for my money, the only thing I want is to see Bucky get a cat the, in, in the newer books that I just bought and I'm trying to find time to read. Um, he has a cat. He meditates, he has a man bun, and he has a cat. Sign me up. Uh, however, America Chavez. So. It's very much looking like we're getting Young Avengers. It seemed early on in the Phase 4 and 5 planning that they were starting to divide into multiple teams. So we seem to have Young Avengers, like a second wave Avengers. We seem to have um, the Inhumans, sort of. Um, apparently there's, there's going, the suggestion is that they're going to make a nod to that terrible Inhumans TV show they made in the Kamala Khan movie. Because uh, Kamala Khan is a fan, so she's like our inclusion into the MCU. In the way that Deadpool could do that too, like she can do it, but kind of more PG. Uh, you also have uh, the Eternals coming. Uh, you still have Guardians of the Galaxy. Midnight Suns is looking fairly likely, and they could frankly go Illuminati. Midnight Suns is fun because it's going to include Blade. Um, and everyone else. I'm still unsure what they're going to be doing with Blade in the wider universe, but I was reading one theory that Blade is going to become the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, I, I am completely unaware of that in the comics. It probably exists. Um, I was not sure what they were doing with vampires, except that when they tweak reality and they inevitably tweak what it means to be human, because Wanda's going to do some messing of reality. Um, they could just tweak it enough that vampires exist, or they could have always existed. This is where the Illuminati would be kind of cool, where like you could have flashbacks to Tony Stark 
um, becoming Iron Man and sort of being brought into the fold as one of the foremost, you know, men in intelligence, technology, and weaponry, and now possessing these superhuman capabilities. Um, that the, the Illuminati are sort of what they sound like. They are a big branch of men um, sitting around talking about all of the things going on in the universe and how we sort of play the chess match of like trying to do this the right way. If they don't have a write-in where that already existed and Tony Stark was part of them, I see them forming potentially because isn't this what Tony talked about for several movies? Like we need a line of defense and then Cap would always say like we are the line of defense. Us. The ability of us to sit around and talk and choose is how it works. So, interesting. Um, I think there's potential for that to happen. Um, the other thing is, since we have live-action Spider-Verse coming, um, I'm particularly interested in your thoughts on which, like, which villains we're going to see. They've been rumoring Keanu as um, Craven. I just want to see where they put Keanu. At this point, they could put him anywhere. I just want to see him in the MCU. I'm tired of hearing rumors. Um, I also am very curious to see which X-Men comes first. Uh, we're clearly getting X-Men. I want them. I need them. I, I don't know if WandaVision drops one. Uh, it looks like they have Agatha Harkness as um, Catherine Hahn's character in WandaVision, and that's going to connect to Fantastic Four. And I'm, I'm frankly very interested to see how they do Fantastic Four. Are we getting yet another Fantastic Four origin story? Or are we getting something very Captain Marvel-esque where it's like this already happened many years ago and they've been like off in space and they're just going to come back to help out? But we kind of thought they were all dead. Also, where's Nova? Where is Nova? As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason that Nova's not here. And also, let us not forget, they teased Adam Warlock years ago. Guardians 1 teased Adam Warlock, and he's not here. So what is happening? Who are we going to have to recruit to get Scarlet Witch from breaking reality is really the big question. Um, hit me with your fan theories, and see you guys soon. This has been another short Mrs. D.